I just want to be your... When I came back from Vegas, I realized that I wouldn't be able to really play in any casino within a two and a half hour drive. I went to get lunch with my girlfriend and we went to a casino that's close by. We went, had some nice food, and as we're on our way out, two guys walk up to us and say, you know there's not going to be any action in here, right? And I just started laughing. I'm like, bro, I was eating sushi. From that point on, I was like, you know what? I'm going to have to go a little further if I actually want to play because I can't even go in those places and eat anymore. Hitting the road was actually exciting, even though I had a three and a half hour drive in front of me. I've been on road trips when I was a kid and stuff, but I never paid attention to the actual scenery and like country and all of like the farmland and mountains you see when you drive. And it was kind of just beautiful, especially during COVID. I started to appreciate nature more and like just driving through all of it. I was just like, damn, these mountains is crazy. That's what we came here for, baby. See, you see that crazy. Saw a lot of Confederate flags. We Yeah. They got an eye up at the gas station. Crazy. Pull up to the first spot. This is a really small casino, kind of in the middle of nowhere. When I walk in and I see the pit, there's nobody in it. And for those who watch my videos who don't know what a pit is, the, when I say the pit, I just mean like the area where they have the blackjack, the roulette, all the different table games. They call that the pit. Turns out the pit didn't open till 3 p.m. because it's a small casino in the middle of nowhere and people don't come to work until 3. Since coming back from Vegas, my spread has grown a bit. I'm doing the minimum to two hands or 200 at my max bet. When the pit first opened, I was the only person in the whole casino playing a table game. And then after about 10 minutes, I was the only person playing blackjack for the next hour. That's the first time I ever experienced that. My dealer, very nice lady, so much fun to talk to. She was talking about the tables opening late because young people don't want to work. <laughs> and she's like, where do these young people get the money? I, I see they got places to live, but they're not working. And I'm like, I, I, I don't know. At the table, it was pretty good. Uh, the whole time, I kind of felt like it was, it was just slowly going my way. Like, we would have a couple of high bets here and there, and I would win more than I would lose, but I would lose a couple. And I was slowly just stacking up chips, stacking up chips, stacking up chips. It was nothing really that exciting. The most exciting thing was talking to my dealer. I mean, it's not the worst thing you could have happened, but I still... <laughs> it was really good to like connect with the other person on the other side of the table so it didn't just feel like a transactional thing for me but after a while she started giving me hints about the fact that i was playing non-stop and she was like aren't you supposed to leave soon and i was like ah but you know i took a break right now we have a lunch brought to you by my girlfriend shout out to her got a little steak potatoes some carrots but one thing we don't have is a fork Grab some of that potato and carry. I'm gonna give this a solid 7-7. Seven, seven. Came back in after I ate. I played for like 10, 15 minutes and then I had the most awkward back off ever. The guy walks up to me and he's like, hey, my name is blah, blah, blah. How you doing today? And I was like, I'm good. He's like, that's great. And then there was like a 10 second pause. And he's like, we're gonna have to have you stop playing blackjack. And I was like, all right, man, that's cool. He's like, word. <laughs> I am in the craziest town right now, bro. What the f Where the f am I, bro? We walked away with a profit of $1,087.50. Again, another scenic drive. Love looking at the mountains before I go sit inside all day and stare at gamblers. Because I don't want to park in the parking lot, I have to do stupid like this and climb up steep hills to eventually get to the casino entrance. Jesus Christ. Got there, and this is a Thursday morning. Place is packed. I mean packed. It's an actual nut house in there. I saw a dog. There was like people who were blackout drunk. All of the blackjack tables were full. And I'm just like, what is going on? On a Thursday morning at 10 o'clock, I'm just confused. Go up to a new table. Again, I got a really nice dealer. She was so funny and she was giving a cut that was having me. Mm. It was so good. And that table actually got filled with some of the worst blackjack players I've ever seen in my whole life. I mean, people were like, they were standing on 14s and 13s. They were hitting 16s. They were hitting 17s. 
doubling down on uh, on sevens, doubling down on a five. I mean, it was crazy. And they were winning. That was the crazy part. I was like, maybe I should just do what they did because they were going crazy. But after a while, I couldn't handle that. And then the table was so full that I think the cut was getting a little negated because the end zero was probably way up there because I was probably getting 40, 30 rounds an hour. And I was like, all right, this is this is terrible. Let me get up. Played an open table and was getting rocked for like two hours straight. Sitting out here by the racetrack, I um, had a crazy shoe where the count was super, super positive. Probably the first time in like the past five sessions where I put out max bets, like max, like two hands, hold 200. And um, it started really well, and then like I lost two max bets, and it reverted all of the good parts of it. So right now on the session, I think we're down 1,200. So total on the trip, we're only down 200. I'm trying to frame it as positively. We only need to make 200 more dollars for this to be a positive slash break even trip. Like that is 100% plausible. Not think about anything big. I really don't even want to think about the result, but anything to get me mentally back in the the uh, capacity, to go back in the casino is great. I think I'm going to sit out here and watch the horses for the next like 30, 45 minutes. I just need to chill out. I can't be inside. It's just going to, it's not going to be good for me. And I know EV is the most important thing, but like, you know, I'm still a person. I have emotions. I can't, you know, just like everybody else, you lose $1,300 in 10 seconds. You, you might get a little pissed. Hmm. Thought I expected it to be a little bit different, but it's hidden. So I come back in, still getting my rocked. I switched tables to the loudest person I've ever played blackjack with. Chris Pace. I mean, every hand, even if he had like a seven, he was screaming, like, action, baby, action. He's like, whoa, relax. I've been here all day. He was so positive and I was so negative because I had been losing all day. And I was like, yeah, whatever, I'm gonna lose the hand. He's like, no, we're gonna win. I'm like, yep, yeah, whatever. And then it finally turned around for me in a shoe where at the very end, I got to split tenths to the max. It was nuts. I had two hands of 150 out. On my first hand, I got a black track. On my second hand, I got a 20, two tenths. I split that hand get another 20. Split that hand again, I get another 20. I tried to split, they won't let me split it because you can only do three splits. And so I get a 10 again, so I got two 20s, a 10 again. I got another 20. So I had I had three hands from my one hand of $150. That's a $450 hand. Dealer has a six, flips over a 10 for 16, flips down another 10. <laughs> That was beautiful. That's the first time I ever seen it. Ever. Shoo! Everything turned around for me. I was like winning shoe after shoe. Couldn't stop winning bets. Crawled out of my hole. I think this this whole thing is just a test of will and like mental fortitude. I'm sitting here in the sports book now. After the variance just twerked on me, like in a good way. It was crazy. From that, you know, I was unstoppable. And I feel like from my last video, that's what I'm learning. It's like blackjack. You're just gonna get your ass beat for like hella long, and then you're gonna have a couple of days, a week, or whatever of you just like smacking the casino, making that casino yo. You know, let me not get a little inappropriate. Also, that loud guy was betting huge. I'm talking like $500 hands every hand for like four or five hours straight. And then it got to the point where I was like, okay, I'm fading. Like I was getting tired. I hadn't eaten, done, done anything, so I went ate some food, watched the NBA Finals, reflected on my comeback at this point. When I came back from eating, I had a problem that I had never had before. I, um, I've never had this problem before, but I am like falling asleep. Like I'm trying to stay awake, but I can't, you know? I'm like trying to play and then like I'll miss a car. And it's happened two shoes in a row now, so. And every time it does, I have to get up and walk away. If I keep falling asleep, I can't keep playing, you know? Like, that's just, I'm just wasting my money at this point. I'm not playing the positive counts because I'm falling asleep before they get there. And, like, I'm just like, okay, I got to go. You want to go to me? Everything is right here. Yeah, he's your first. And I think that's the first time ever where I've been like, I have to leave the casino because I'm too tired to play now. I'm literally exhausted. Like, I can't, I can't do it. Man, it back. Tonight we have an... Yeah, the hair are great in a cup with a plastic spoon. Gonna take that milk on the road tomorrow. 
watching this album preach and about to go right to sleep. Great comeback. We ended up from being down 2000 We came all the way back to have a profit of $911. And that made me realize, you know, I can still play this game, you know, at, at places that aren't the area where I usually play it. So I have a little time off of work coming up and I think I'm gonna be spending a little more time out here playing blackjack. If you wanna see where I go in the next video, hit that sub button. See you in the next one. Peace, man.